So I told you in the last video that the first video, this video, the next video, is going to be about sitting down and focusing on that first task, okay? Now, you're going to talk to a lot of people or you're going to hear a lot of people talking about how you need 36 hours a week. That's six hours a day with one day off. You it, it, Treat it like a second job, so eight hours a day, a 40-hour week on top of your entire week. Do not wake up at 3 a.m. Do not rise and grind. Do not freak out about the lack of hours that you're putting into this amazing new task in your life. This thing that is just so amazing. You can't wait to get to it. You're so excited for this new project, all that jazz. Stop. Stop listening to the people telling you that you need to be working a thousand hours a week. There's only 168 hours in a week, okay? Keep that in mind. You don't have to work a thousand hours a week. You need to just start the first thing on your to-do list, okay? You're not behind. You're not lost or frustrated. You're not in any way losing ground by not working 42 hours every day on your new dream okay <laughs> here's what you're gonna do once you've got that first task outlined you know the thing that you're gonna tackle you know that first piece of whatever that you're working on you are gonna organize your life such that the next sit down time that you have to work is a two hour chunk of time, okay? Now, indices usually start at zero. <laughs> so the first instance is zero, the next instance is one, and you count from there. Of course, I'm referring to programming in some regard. Deal with it, people who don't know how programming works. Some programming languages indices start at one. Don't come at me with that. My point is valid. Indices start at zero. So that first time you sit down is a two hour chunk of time. But that is actually the second time you're gonna sit down. I know I'm contradicting what I just said, but I'm filming this ad hoc, deal with it, okay? The zeroth time, the very, very, very first time you're sitting down to work on this is a 15 minute work session. So you watch the last video and you watch this video and now you're figuring out how to organize it. The very first time you ever sit down to work on the thing that got you so excited from that last video, right? The thing that got you so excited, you're, you're so ready to just do the thing. That thing. You're going to sit down for 15 minutes and work on it. 15 minutes. And you start off with a 15 minute session because maybe the habit of working on something is new to you. Maybe you're not ready to sit down for the two hours, which will be the next session. Maybe you just don't have that habit built, but you need to sit down and you need to build a momentum. So the very, very, very first time, the zeroth instance of you doing something, you just sit there for 15 minutes and work on it. That doesn't matter if you, it, if you sit down and you just write out a little map for all of the things that you want to accomplish. You, you organize what the first instance of sitting down is going to be, the two-hour session. Great. That's great. For 15 minutes, you are spending time building your dream, pursuing your goal, building a habit of making the life you want, whatever it is. I love this model of work. Because who can't afford 15 minutes? You tell me, okay, you went on break, you went and sat in the bathroom for 15 minutes. And then you said, oh, I was, I was using the restroom and everyone saw it, thought it was cool and whatnot. Like you, you do this in your professional life. You do this in your personal life. You know, your, your wife's reading a book to the kids or whatever. And you go off into the bathroom and you're there for, like I said, 15 minutes. 
with both of these examples is you can tell I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. I should really look at that and try to improve my life. But uh, the point is the same. You're wasting 15 minutes somewhere. And by wasting, all I mean is you're not spending it building this thing that you're super excited about. Because that's how you're going to feel. You want to do the thing that you're super excited to do. And so everything else you're doing in your life is not doing that thing. So I love this method of organizing time to work on the thing because <laughs> you have 15 minutes somewhere. You have it somewhere, whether it's watching TV or wasting time washing dishes. It doesn't matter. Don't not wash your dishes. I just mean like sometimes you do it really slow. You can't tighten up that half an hour of dishwashing into 20 minutes because there's 10 of the 15 you need for that first work session. Find something that you can cut so that you sit down for 15 minutes and start doing the thing that you love. And then the next time you sit down, hopefully, you have a framework for what it is you'll be doing for the two-hour session. Okay? It's as simple as that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, anything at all we should add to that. And I really can't. Because I don't know your situation. I don't know exactly what you're doing or building or pursuing. It, it could be anything. But 15 minutes, followed by two hours the next day or the third day afterwards, whatever. That will take you one step closer to actually building that dream that you've had. And you will feel better. You, your life will get better as you just pursue that little thing in 135 minutes. You figure out how do I got to that in the math, okay? And tell me if I'm wrong down below because the oven beeped again. I gotta go get it. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.